Hey, what's up guys? Totally Dubbed here, and today we're going to be flashing over Delta ROM V2.0 uh, based on 4.2.2. So um, what I've done is I've put the ROM on my external SD card, um, and I'm just going to wipe my internal SD card. You guys don't have to do this, I'm only doing it because I can, but um, uh, if you want to do it, then you can just follow what I'm doing right here. Very simple. Um, the reason I do this is because it gives you a nice clean um, uh, internal SD card um, so there we go if you're on 4.2.2 you don't have to forcefully flash but um, I just do it anyway when I'm installing from different ROMs simply because um, it prevents any problems occurring so we're gonna go next next yes next and you got the choice of full installation, typical and custom. I'm going to go for custom and choose. Now, um, there's one thing I'm going to do, uh, I'll show you. So, long press, yes. Lock screen rotation, no. Four way rotation, yes. Circular, yes. Scrolling paper, yes. Um, touch widget rotation, yes. Hack camera, yes. Unlimited SMS, hide SMS from, yep. Yep. Custom boot, yes. No, no. I suggest these two if you haven't done them already. Um, no, boot sound, no. Email. So I had email. I've already done this installation with no, with stock email. And for some reason, I got forced close email uh, for no reason. And I couldn't get it to uh, work. So I'm going to go for yes, install it with Exchange Security Disabled. Call recording, no. Pop up browser, no. GPS fast lock. Install base ROM, I suggest it. Um, change CSC. I'm going to show you the CSC list and wipe factory. So I'm just going to tick that even though I've done it. So you can see you've got a long CSC list. It keeps on going. Just select the one which. Uh, is best for you in my in my um, case it's BTU um, now we're gonna go for the apps that we might want so I'm just gonna go through them there feedback Google map um, live wallpaper mobile print mobile track engine um, YouTube I think that's it next and I'm gonna let it install so as I said, there was a little problem with the, um, the email app. For some reason, it was forced closing. But um, let's see if I have any problems then. Um, when I first booted up, it was very nice. Uh, very impressed with what Anu has done uh, with the ROM. And 4.2.2 in general has impressed me uh, quite a bit. Um, it's quite nice and um, quite snappy. Even though battery life isn't great, I do find 4.2.2 uh, quite nice I, I really like what Samsung have done um, how they've integrated it into their um, into their phone um, and created a nice uh, base um, very nice and, and there's not much room for improvement I must say um, just being brutally honest there um, except for battery life um, that's the only thing that I've noticed battery life and if there were sources uh, for kernel which were out then kernel developers could develop 4.2.2 kernels um, I didn't notice um, however the sources weren't out but yeah sources aren't out um, yet uh, from what I'm aware uh, for the kernels and therefore you can't see any kernels uh, which are being used so at the moment it's a stock kernel However, when a kernel comes up, it'll be quite easy to flash and quite quick. Um, the reason the kernel is good is because, for example, Sire's kernel, I've got um, Sire's kernel with, um, it's got Scooby-Doo sound, or should I say Voodoo sound for people which know it, um, and I quite like it. Um, it's, to me, a huge difference when I'm listening to, the, um, to my earphones um, with the S3. Um, modifies the sound in a great way so yeah there's certain things which I do miss from 4.1.2 but it won't be long until we get 4.2.2 sources uh, full sources and everything and when it actually does come out for the uh, Galaxy S3 um, officially so I don't think it'll be too long until it comes out I don't expect to be waiting uh, so long um, because it's around the corner let's put it that way I can't estimate a time but um, it won't be long so um, yeah, so um, I'd like to know in the comments below what are your opinions on 4.2.2 at the moment? Uh, what are your thoughts on it, um, and how are you finding it? And how do you think um, you know Samsung um, 
is uh, is is doing with their integration of their ROMs. Um, personally, I think it's a great job, but uh, I'd be intrigued to know what you guys think. I know a lot of you guys um, quite like uh, the stock um, the stock um, look from Google. However, I'm much um, I much prefer the TouchWiz um, uh, integration of um, of Samsung of the um, Google um, Google ROMs basically. So yeah, I'm just letting this boot up. It usually takes around five minutes, to be quite honest. And there we go, I just felt it tick. So yeah, it, it does take a little while to boot up because everything is just loading. So go next. Get rid of Wi-Fi. Skip. Next. And I'm going to add my Google account in just a bit. Take it off screen. Just add it in quickly. I hate the Samsung keyboard. Myself. <laughs> um, yeah, I can't stand it myself because I, I'm so used to swipe that I'm just swiping around the whole time, um, and I, I just I, I can't stand uh, stock keyboards anymore. Uh, I don't know how people on iPhone type so quick. I have no idea, um, and I feel sorry for them in some respect. Um, just taking it off screen again, just to check. Uh, there was a text. Uh, let's get rid of the text. Get rid of auto brightness. There we go. So um, there we go. We've booted up, um, and I'm just gonna launch email if it opens. And there we go. It opens now. So there you go. Um, just a heads up. Do not go for the stock email app. Go for the one with the security. Um, uh, disabled uh, so that you get the email app I, I mean at least that's what happened for me um, I don't know why it did that but it just did so uh, do bear that in mind so just to show you what we're on 4.2.2 EMC2 it's on stock kernel and about Delta it's very nice what I know he's done there get a nice um, view of it and you can launch straight into the website and whatnot um, and just a heads up, if you click on build number, you get developer functions, and that can be found in this screen. And the reason I go here is simply because, um, simply because I go for, where is it called, da -da -da -da. the animation time I increase, oh, uh, decrease I say the time, so it feels a little snappier. Um, Okay, get rid of that. So there we go, guys. Um, so this is flashed over. Um, I'll go into Google Play Store quickly, just taking it off screen just in case if there's any email shown or whatnot, just to show you the apps that need updating. There you go, you've got Samsung Push, Dropbox, and Chrome to be updated, but everything else seems to be up to date. So um, there you go, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, flashing guide. I'll probably bring a um, a guide, um, a review of the ROM at a later date, um, but uh, so far looks so good and it seems like the integration everything seems to be well done by Anu. So do check it out, let me know your opinions below, especially the question I asked beforehand, what you think about it, and um, yeah, do check it out and do flash it, check out uh, Delta ROM. Um, right guys, I've been totally dubbed, hope you've enjoyed this video. Take care, bye bye.